In a television moment that caught everyone off guard, the beloved actor, John Starmos, famous for his role as Uncle Jesse on the iconic sitcom Full House, caused a stir with his unfiltered remarks about Prince Harry during his appearance on Good Morning America. Starmos held nothing back, delivering a scathing critique that left viewers and even co-hosts stunned into silence. But before we proceed, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The atmosphere on the set of Good Morning America seemed typical on that morning. The hosts were cheerfully discussing the latest celebrity news and upcoming events, creating a light and breezy atmosphere that is customary in the world of morning television. John Starmos was invited to talk about his latest projects, but little did anyone suspect that the conversation would take an unexpected turn. As the interview progressed, the topic shifted to the British royal family, a subject that never fails to capture public interest. When asked about his thoughts on the recent controversies surrounding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Starmos leaned forward, replacing his usual charming smile with a serious expression. Well, I have to be honest here, he began, his voice calm yet resolute. Prince Harry is no longer a prince or a royal in my opinion. He has become a disgrace to the monarchy. A sudden silence fell upon the studio. Viewers at home, sipping their morning coffee, likely did a double take. Did John Starmos just say what everyone thought he said? Indeed, he did, and he wasn't finished. Starmos continued, Look, I understand the desire to have your own life, and I respect that. But there is a way to do things with dignity and respect for your heritage. What Harry has done is the opposite. He has aired dirty laundry in public, criticized his own family, and, in my view, tarnished the very institution that provided him with everything. While the cameras didn't capture Meghan Markle's immediate reaction, reports suggest that she was terrified by the intensity of Starmos's comments. An insider close to the couple mentioned that Meghan was shocked and deeply hurt by the public rebuke. She couldn't believe that someone like John Starmos, who was seen as a wholesome and family-friendly figure, would speak out so harshly against them, the source revealed. As expected, social media erupted with hashtags such as hash Starmo speaks out and hash Harry and Meghan trending almost instantly. Opinions were divided. Some applauded Starmos for his candor, while others criticized him for being excessively harsh. One Twitter user wrote, John Starmos just said what many of us have been thinking. Harry and Meghan need to stop playing the victim card. Another tweeted, I love John Starmos, but he crossed a line. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, but that was just mean. Starmos's surprising comments bring to the forefront a broader discussion about the evolving role of the royal family in modern society. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from their royal duties and move to the United States has sparked numerous debates about duty, privilege, and personal freedom. By airing their grievances in public forums, including the notorious Oprah interview, Harry and Meghan have undoubtedly charted a new path for themselves, one that diverges from the traditional royal playbook. However, this new direction has also exposed them to a torrent of criticism and scrutiny. As the interview on Good Morning America came to an end, Starmos took a moment to slightly soften his stance. I don't hate Harry and Meghan, he clarified. I just believe they need to find a better way to navigate their roles. They have a platform and a voice, but they also have a responsibility to handle it with care. J.N. Starmos's unexpected takedown of Prince Harry on Good Morning America will undoubtedly be remembered as one of the most surprising and talked-about moments in recent television history.